What's up everybody? It's me, KB Chronic. A whole minute early because I press buttons really quickly. Um, I know it's not Sunday. Um, I know it's not the normal INCW stream. But uh, I just felt like doing a bonus episode today. So that's what I'm doing. Um, and basically, if, if you saw the title of the video and it says KOTR... It stands for King of the Ring. Uh, King of the Ring. Kind of like Lord of the Rings, except it's a different type of ring. Uh, it's a wrestling ring instead of a ring you wear on your finger. But yeah. Um, so what I've done is I went and I lined out uh, an eight-man tournament. And we're going to watch the whole tournament all in one go to see who's the King of the Ring. Uh, nothing really comes with being King of the Ring except for bragging rights. Um, whoever wins, I may go figure out a way to put like a crown on him or something like that. Like if Big Bunny wins, can't put a crown on Big Bunny. But uh, basically the rules of the matches, each one is just a regular, like a normal match. Uh, there is disqualification, there is count out, it's count out of 10, all that good stuff. Um, there's an option where you could turn on damage retention. Damage retention is turned on. Uh, so as we watch these matches, as people get messed up, they're going to go into their next matches not completely messed up, but they're not going to be 100% either. So, <clears throat> with all that out of the way, and because I kind of choked right there, um, we'll get into our first match, which is Hank Murphy um, versus Johnny Walker. Uh, Hank Murphy we've only seen once, Johnny Walker we haven't seen in a while. So it, it'll be kind of interesting to see how this match turns out. <coughs> and of course, I'm not playing either one of them. We're going to let the computers do this. Uh, also, I issued a challenge to anyone in PWA who wanted to come uh, see if they could take more gold from us effectively. See if they could get bragging rights that they are the best in our company, even though they're not actually in our company. And just like I hoped, they sent Brawler Beckett over here. Um, if you haven't seen, it, go to the YouTube channel. Go ahead and, like, we've got plenty of time for these loading screens. Go to the INU project on on YouTube and uh, check out the, the recent video from Brawler Beckett on there where he uh, decided to effectively burn the flag of INCW. It wasn't actually a flag. It was just a T-shirt, but it got burnt. Um, he had some choice words to say, some of which we agree with, some of which we don't agree with. Um, but the long and short of it is, effectively, if it hadn't been declared thoroughly enough before, war is definitely declared now. Um, uh, and that's what the pay-per-view is going to be for. I've got a couple matches already lined up. Uh, and we're just waiting for everything else to kind of fall into place. And we'll see where all that nonsense goes. But anyways, all that aside, bro, we'll, we'll, we'll call Brawler Beckett's match whenever uh, whenever that time comes. Later on in the stream. But as of right now, we're going to worry about Hank Murphy, the bad mother trucker. And, uh, and Johnny Walker. That's where our focus is going to be. That's what we're going to be, uh... Who do, you, who do you cheer for? Like, I see there's some of y'all watching. Who do, who do you want to win this match? And then who do you want to win the entire thing? Uh, I know you didn't, may not have got a good look. Some of y'all joined in right as the first match was starting. Um, but yeah, like... Who do you think is going to win this match? You pulling for Johnny Walker? The dude with the... Hell of a rivalry with Gavin Sawyer. Ended up losing that rivalry. Got a little upset about it. Kind of went away. Or do you go for uh, Hank Murphy, the twerking truck driver? <sighs> Anybody? Nobody? You got like five people watching. Ain't nobody wants to chat. Come on. There ain't even no storylines today. Like nobody's beefing with anybody. There we go. 
it's supposed to be Walker, but you know, spacing with names in this game is apparently rocket science. Come on, y'all gotta have a favorite to win. I, I know some of y'all. How do you? Who? What do you mean? Who's Johnny Walker? You haven't watched any of this season? All right, we got somebody already cheering for. Oh, man! I hope the stream like the stream looks like it's messing up, but I hope it's not messing up too bad. Uh. Yeah, Johnny Walker is basically, he's got a, man, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if he's red or black. Wh whatever color his boots are, so I guess we're just going to go with black because he was going to work with those kicks. Info Warrior will have a match later on against Big Bunny. We'll see how that pans out. Ooh, how in the hell was Hank able to pull off a Hurricane Rana? Or a head, that was a head scissors, I apologize. I'm losing my mind here for a minute. Ooh, Hank showing Johnny Walker, he's not the only one with kicks. Just realized that Hank's rocking the bell bottoms. Not a huge fan of that. Homemade bell bottoms at that. Nice. Little shoestring stitching up the side, accents to the pants leg. I wonder if he meant for him to be bell bottoms or if he bought skinny jeans and it just tore on the way down. Johnny Walker sent into the corner. Hank with a big boot to the gut. Johnny Walker was dominating. The oh no, that's that is fucking terrible. I would not want a truck driver sitting on my face like that. One, two, no. Johnny Walker kicking out just in the nick of time. Hank trying to finish it early because he knows he's got a big match next. I don't remember who it's against, but he could potentially have a big match. Fat girl jeans he stole from Kmart. Is it really stealing if they're going out of business? Johnny Walker with the forearm trying to mount some type of... Ooh, cold breaking. Going for the pin. One, two, no. Johnny Walker setting up for that super kick. And he got it. That's that's usually it. One, two, no. Twenty years later, he's still wearing the same pair of pants. That's man, no, thirty years. Man, that's that's a while. Ooh, Johnny Walker with the double axe handle. Oh, got the rope break. Cannot make someone submit if their feet are all in the ropes. I mean, you can, but it's not going to count for anything. Hang going for a pin. Pretty close to the ropes that time, but Johnny Walker didn't seem to need him. Oh, drop kick to the back of the neck. Hank going for a gator roll. Got his head caught up. Oh, into the cross face. Nope. Couldn't finish him. Hank looking to hang Johnny out to dry. Ooh, and it worked. Successfully hung him out to dry. Johnny back in the corner. Oh, Hank going for the leg. Doesn't want to, or Johnny going for the leg. Doesn't want Hank to kick him like that anymore. Didn't do anything. Oh, my God. There's only so much of that Bronco Buster you can take, and the number is zero. I appreciate the follow that we just got on PlayStation. 
you'll notice because there's a big black post the iNew project um get all your cool stuff that's where you're gonna get your messages answered and all that join everybody that's in the chat right now johnny walker went for a second super kick one two oh hank kicked out at two <clears throat> Johnny Walker saying that's it. He's going to put him away. How's he going to do it? Go for another code breaker? Yep. Boom. All in the mood kick. Oh, no. Hank's twerking on him. That's not good. Ooh, with the standing moonsault. Hank goes for the pin. One, two. Oh, Johnny kicked out it, too. Two and nine tenths, really. Hank slingshotting over the top rope. I don't know where he's going. Oh, Johnny got out of the way just in time. Setting up for it. Might be the, oh, not a super kick. Oh, with the airplane spin throw. Almost like the outsider's edge. I don't know how in the hell he got a big bastard like that up. Drag him away from the ropes as a veteran move. One, two, no. No, it's it's not storming here. Maybe storming further in town where uh, and it's causing problems, but it's not storming directly above me. Johnny Walker going for a sleeper hold. He's trying to fight his way out of it. Ooh. Hank with a snapmare takeover, followed by a kick to the back. Throwing Johnny Walker in the corner. Is he going to set up for that a Bronco Buster again? Because that is disgusting, is what it is. Choosing to just stomp a mud hole. Ooh. And a slingshot drop kick. Going for the pin. One, two, no. These two will just not stay down. We've seen Johnny go through some hell with Gavin Sawyer. And I mean, just looking at Hank, it looks like his body goes through hell on a regular basis. Um, all self-inflicted, of course. Ooh, Johnny's had enough of that. And another code breaking. Hang going for that twerking moonsault again. My God. Ooh. If he goes for the pin, he may have it right here. One, two. No. Johnny Walker is not done. He will not lose to this. Johnny Walker is a man's man. He's not going to lose to some joker in a... 1980s oh my god not again uh in a 1980s flannel around the waist truck driving skinny jean wearing nasty hank that's and a neck breaker johnny walker setting him up in the middle of the ring going for a pin might get it one two no kick to the back Coming off the rope. Oh, for a Hogan leg drop. Man, that was a vicious clothesline. Vicious and disgusting. Look, look at the sweat mounting up on. Oh, no. With the big splash. One, two, no. There is a way Henry can do a backflip. We've watched him do it three times now. Thank you, uh, the Shark thirteen thirteen, for the follow. Uh, if you want to keep up with everything, oh my God, no, not again. Oh no, no, no! 
When is the last time that man showered? My God. Um. The Shark 1313, we appreciate the follow. Uh, there we go. Luthez Press by uh, Johnny Walker. He's had enough. He's looking to end it right here. And Hank isn't going to let him. I don't know if that's Johnny Walker's sweat or the just massive body oil <laughs> bleeding over from Hank. My God. Ooh, with a big right hand. No, 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 no. Hank just dumping Johnny Walker on his face. Not this again. No. My God. How many times is he going to do that? One, two, three. Johnny Walker just couldn't take it anymore. After the biological warfare brought into this match, it just, it took its toll. The man's man has fallen. Time to go back to the drawing board. Good God, why do we have to see this again? Ah, and a code breaker. Going for the super kick. Oh, didn't quite get it. That, that may have been why I didn't finish it. It got, it got around his chest area and nowhere near his chin. My God. Hank Murphy pulls off a victory. Moves on to the next round in the King of the Ring tournament. Good God. May God have mercy on whoever has to face that bastard. Now this will be a little slower than normal because you can't like seamlessly go through all the matches. You just have to watch them play out one by one. Now we got uh, actually our former our former INCW heavyweight champion against our former prospect champion, the Info Warrior, who will be challenging Damian Black on September 30th for the INCW heavyweight title, and his opponent, the man Damian Black beat to take the INCW heavyweight title home, Big Bunny. These two have met a couple times before, uh, and it never fails to impress. Oh, man. I mean, it's kind of like betting, but it's not a... Uh, you, you don't win anything from it, just bragging rights. Kind of like this tournament. You get nothing out of it, just bragging rights. Oh, man. A fan of anyone against Henry. Here comes the Info Warrior. Yellow clad. New attire. Been working on some custom gear while he was out. New face paint. Don't tread on me, he says. Well, of course you're pulling for the info warrior. I wouldn't have it any other way. We actually haven't seen too much of Info Warrior. Um, there's just there's been a lot going on. He'll definitely be in a match this weekend, um, Sunday. Whenever we do our regularly scheduled uh, episode, he'll definitely be involved in that. Um, 
when this goes to YouTube, we may have to split it up into a couple of parts. Uh, just because I don't know how long it's going to take to do an eight-man tournament. We're already halfway through, and we've only done one match. So, <laughs> we've still got two more matches after this one. We still got two more matches after this one. Um, there's nothing cute and little and furry about Big Bunny. Like, maybe his name. Look at that. That is a terrifying creature. That's what you would find on... Oh, it, it's just not good. Not good at all. But anyways, uh... Oh man, I just had another idea. It, oh, that's besides the point. Um... I forgot where I was going. Oh yeah, we, it may have to be split up in two parts if you go watch this video once it gets uploaded to YouTube. Um, that's something we're just gonna have to wait and see though. I don't know why I brought that up, but I did. I think it's just a past time because I've talked over Bunny's entrance so many damn times that I just, I can't, I can't be bothered to do it anymore. The dude's gonna come out. He's gonna take his sweet time. And boom. Lights come on. He gets in the ring. He fights Info Warrior. Everything. Everything's groovy. We get ready. As we get ready to start this. I don't know how action packed it's gonna be, but get ready to start this match. Oh, Info Warrior with the headlock. Going in early. Oh, let's go. Got it again. Oh, and a snap suplex. Not sure why Bunny let that happen. You would know you would think that whenever he went for it the first time, Bunny wouldn't let it happen at a, a first or a second time after that. But you know, that that's it's alright. Both these guys kind of have ring rust, so we can let them slide for a little bit. Info Warrior going to the top. Ooh! Hm. Missed the elbow drop. Gets caught up by... Deep arm drag by Bunny. Run into each other like a brick wall. Ooh, arm drag by uh by Info Warrior. Bunny with an uppercut. And a follow-away slam. Almost taking out the ref, who is an idiot because he's always in the way. Bunny's going for the triple German suplex. Or the triple gut wrench suplex, rather. Ooh, nope, just the one. It's gonna be the slow build. Going for another one. There's one. This could be the hat trick. There's two. One more. And the big third. What's Bunny going for here? Could it be? It's the rabbit hole slam. That sounds funny. Goes for the pin. This might be it for Info Warrior. One, two, no. Info Warrior kicked out at two. And goes for a swinging neck breaker. What's Info Warrior setting up for here? Ooh! Stole the down the rabbit hole. Or the rabbit hole slam. My, my man, I apologize. Got a two count off of it. Almost took Bunny out with his own move. Uh, did we lose connection?
Kicks him low. Ooh! With a side suplex. Oh! He caught him! Boom! Down the bunny hole. I don't... Rabbit hole. I've called that thing four different moves today. Info Warrior did not stay down to either one of them. The rabbit hole slam. That's what it's called. Or the bunny hole slam. No, rabbit hole. Rabbit hole sounds better. Big bunny with a fall away slam. Ooh, and a German suplex into the ropes. Info Warrior might be in a bit of trouble. Big Bunny and Info Warrior throwing hands at one another. Info Warrior goes up. Ooh, with a power bomb. All in the ropes. One, two. Ref can't see the fucking ropes is what's happening. Big Bunny pulls the leg. Rolls out of the ring. Info Warrior thinking maybe he won. Big Bunny trying to get the high ground on Info Warrior. Info Warrior with a clothesline. Ducks under a clothesline. Oh, and a back body drop. Into a spine busting. Going for a, ooh, busted bunny wide open. That could be it. He's not done. Bunny reverses. Ooh, bunny went for a headbutt. It's not wise with the busted open head. Ooh, with a gut buster on bunny. Snap suplex. Back to what started this whole match. Twisty neck breaker. Stomps Bunny in the face. Info Warrior with just the ground and pound attack. Going for the pin in the middle of the ring. One, two, no. It's gonna take a little bit more than that to keep Big Bunny down. Oh, you logo. That could be it. He didn't want to go for the finish. Maybe hook the leg. One, two. Oh, Big Bunny kicked out at two. Realistically, if I was Info Warrior or Big Bunny, I wouldn't want to min win this match because you have. Oh, with the Dragon Body Grapevine, but he got he rolled into the ropes. Looked like he was going for some type of cutter. Oh, Bunny with the headbutt. Snapmare takeover. Big Bunny moving slow and methodically. Don't know if he's exhausted or if he's setting up for something big. Ooh, fisherman suplex. Clubbing blow to the back. drag judo throw oh exploder suplex out of the corner bunny's setting up for it again he got it rabbit hole slam going for the pin hook the leg one two three info warrior has been eliminated So in the semifinals, we'll have uh, Big Bunny versus Hank Murphy. I don't know how I feel about that. Both of them took a hell of a beating going into that uh, going into that fight, but we shall see.
Big Bunny taking his win. Letting everybody know that he's here. He's held almost every other title in the company. I'm not sure why I would need to sign into PlayStation. So for our next match, we have a uh, we have Laparca against Brawler Beckett. Laparca had his first match here in INCW last Sunday. Um, Brawler Beckett never wrestled for INCW ever. Does his arm say "Your Mother"? Oh my god. Anyways, um I kind of figured they would send Brawler back in and it was real difficult for me not to be in my own King of the Ring tournament. Really really wish I could be in there. Not just, you know, not to uh win my title or not not win my title not not to you know be the best in the king of the ring but just to okay i don't know what people are saying yeah and yes to oh yes it does your mother okay i got it now i was confused um man i got lost yes uh, like I said at the beginning of the show, Brawler Becky is the one who burnt the shirt. Uh, effectively also burning the flag of INCW. Officially starting this whole war. Um, th there was a lot of animosity before, but it was nothing that couldn't be settled in the ring. But, I mean, if we're going to start burning shirts and everything, uh, hey, you know. We can, we can take it a step further. Here comes LaParka, a new recruit to INCW. It's fitting that we have a uh, an actual luchador, an actual man of the mask, going against Brawler Beckett first. You know, just to kind of, just to show that we actually do have wrestlers around here. Granted, it could also be interpreted that we picked him up to make it look like we have wrestlers but you know I'm, I'm that's neither here nor there it's not why i did it definitely didn't plan for brawler beckett to burn my shirt definitely didn't plan to do this match right now so Taking his sweet time. There's a, next season, we're going to have a time limit on how long it takes you to get to the damn ring. Because this is, this is out of control. We've got too many people taking their sweet time just getting down here.
here comes Brawler Beckett for the first time ever in an INCW ring making sure to tell all the fans how despicable they are making sure to let everyone know about the heresy that is INCW all that nonsense you know typical I like how everybody from PWA wears a robe Nobody, nobody knows what I don't actual clothing is. <laughs> I don't think many people are a fan of Brawler Beckett. I don't think Brawler Beckett is a fan of Brawler Beckett. All right. Laparka looked like he was going for a collar and elbow tie-up, but instead getting introduced immediately to the turnbuckle. My God. Absolutely zero time wasted. Fireman's K takeover from Laparka into a, a belly to back. Kind of like a wrestling slam. Got him in a headlock. Close fist punch. If a PWA ref were to see that, we'd be in some trouble, but they didn't. Ooh! Brawler Beckett looked like he was going to take the low road and got caught in the face. Ooh! Laparka not done with him yet. Like I said, I don't think... I don't think anyone's a fan of Brawler Beckett. That was... That's showing some moxie. Ooh! Looked like he might be going for a pin there, but he let it go. Brawler Beckett with the kicks to the face. And gets kicked in the head. It's like these guys are playing tip for tat. If you check, if you look at him, you can see that Brawler Beckett has the size advantage. Um... They both look to have about the same athletic capabilities. Beckett goes to steal the win. No. Opportunistic. Nice little flying uh, luchador level arm drag. Sweeping the leg. Brawler Beckett telling Laparka to get up. Then not letting him up. Ooh! Hey! What the hell was that, ref? Ooh! Went for a running knee, but what? It looked like he hit him with something. Ooh! Stunner over the top rope. Seriously, ref? Like... We, we got to get a better ref next season. This is out of control. I could swear that Brawler Beckett pulled something out of his trunks. Jawbreaker by Laparka sliding back in the ring, not trying to get counted out. Wants this to actually be a wrestling match. Too much to ask for Brawler Beckett, though. Laparka rolling to the other side of the ropes. Hopefully safe where he can't be pinned. Oh. Parker looked like he's trying to get back in the ring. Got caught up with Beckett. Oh. Beckett with like a capture neck breaker, swinging neck brace. Vicious it was is what it was. It hurt. It hurt really bad. Beckett is fighting outside. He he may be looking to derail this entire tournament. They're at a five count. Up to six. LaParka trying to get back in the ring. Beckett blocking him at every pass. Beckett going for that. Oh, pin that time? No. What's Beckett got in mind here? Ooh, with the elbow drop to the chest into a DDT. One, two, 
Oh, almost got him. Brawler Beckett making his in-ring debut against LaParka. Misses a knee drop off the top rope. LaParka capitalizes. Tries to go for a boot to the face. Doesn't get it. Oh, monkey flip by Brawler Beckett. And a DDT. Shades of Jake the Snake. Oh, there it is again. Ref, pay attention. Pay attention. That's all I'm asking. Like, what the hell was that? One, two, this is not fair. Okay, thank God. There is something in that man's tights. Ooh. That might be it, folks. LaParka don't stand a chance. Two, three. Good Lord. Is there no shortcut this man won't take? All he's missing is the curly mustache, and he's that that dude from the Scooby-Doo Racers or whatever it was called back in the day. My God. Look at it. Look! All the replays. There is something in it. What is that? Even in slow motion replay, we can't catch a hold of what that is. It's pr I, I wouldn't put it past them to be some type of brass knuckles. the audacity of this man and then with a big smile on his face the only smart thing he's ever done is tell the ref to get away it does say your mother get out of here my god And then for our final match, we have Reaper versus Ace Davis. Basically the, uh... No, I don't mean, oh my god. That, that was infuriating, all of that. Excuse me. I can't believe. That. That actually infuriated me. I don't. I don't want anything to do with any of this anymore. It's. Disheartening is what it is. Oh, man. Hopefully Reaper and Ace Davis can put on a decent match to kind of make up for the bullshit we just saw. If they can't, well, damn. Here comes Reaper, ready to sprint down to the ring. We haven't actually seen Reaper in, in a good while, actually. Um, I don't know what he's been up to. Maybe he's been training. Maybe he's not. I don't. I have absolutely nothing. Here 
Jones, Ace Davis. We haven't seen him in a while either. He he was he was well on his way to being like the top guy in INCW, and then uh, just all kind of fell off. He was doing great. He was on his way to the top. He lost a couple of matches. Actually, from the time he lost the TV title, or the Twitch title, is when everything started to go downhill. Two high flyers. Relatively the same weight size. It may not look like it, but what the fuck is it? He just put his knee in his face. On purpose. Already got people cheering for Reaper. Well, the winner of this has to go on to face Brawler Beckett. So, whoever wants to deal with that nonsense. Oh, with the, le the body scissors. Reaper goes for a gut. Oh, and then a clothesline. Going up top. That was weird. It was like a 450 splash, but it was backwards. Stomping the arm. Ace Davis may have a plan. What the fuck is that? Forearm smash to the face. Going for sliced bread. To the middle rope. Went for a missile drop kick and got taken out. Spent too much time up there. That was that like a bicycle knee? What? Reaper might be going for it. Ooh! Maybe could have hooked the legs if he would have got so, so much momentum on that. Going for the pin. One. No. A little too early for that. I can appreciate him trying to go for a pin early so that way he can... Ooh! Moonlight Drive! Uh, I can appreciate... Wow! I, I don't know what rope he used for that. Um, the quick pins are definitely uh, intelligent in this match. So that way you're not worn out whenever you go to the next round. Slice bread. Going for a pin. Listening to my advice. One. No. Reaper with the T-bone. Ace Davis going up top. Oh, with the 450 going for the pin. One, two, no. Spin around, ooh, into a driver. Hooks the leg. One, two, oh, Reaper kicked out at two and nine tenths. Does not get much closer than that. Springboard moonsault. He probably could have went for a pin off of that. Hit to the gut by Reaper. Ooh, clothesline to the back. Sending him face first into the ropes. Going for the giant swing. Well, the the tiny swing. I don't know what to call this. It is the giant swing, but it's done by a tiny man. Maybe got the pin off of that. Could have caused too much blood to rush to the head. Oh, no, he didn't. I bet you about three more rotations he'd have got it. Ooh! 
sit out, leg drop on the knee. Going to work on that knee steadily. Got to kind of got to wonder if he's maybe got a submission in mind. Going for the pin. One, no. He can either be going for the submission or realize that he can't beat Ace Davis and is just trying to ruin it for him to where he can't win the rest of the tournament. Oh, man. Why do we always have to do this? Oh, superplex to the outside. It's always Reaper. <laughs> Reaper with his superplex to the outside. It's not called for. It's not needed. You can't win out there. Ooh, jumping Hurricane Rana. What's the the ref is at a seven count. Somebody's got to get back in the ring. That's an eight. Ace Davis throws Reaper back in the ring. What what was that? Ooh, went for a cutter and missed. STO going for the pin. Two, no. At this point, the the idea of doing quick pins should be out the window, and should be solely focused on pulling out all the stops. Do whatever you can. If you get hurt, screw it. Like. Going for the 450 again. Oh, no, a swanton. Going for the pin. One, two, three. Ace Davis pulls out a victory. Oh, man. That was a damn good match. My favorite part was the severe lack of brass knuckles in the match. My God. Just going back and looking at all the moves they did. I mean, how can you say all we got is a bunch of cosplaying losers when these guys are putting on matches like this? I mean, for Christ's sake, they have a guy in PWA who's called, what, what, what was it? The, the, the masked killer or the masked shooter? Like that, what the hell is that? And we're the ones with cosplayers? And heathens and heretics and all that crap. Come on, get get over yourself. All right, we enter our first uh, semifinal. Actually, yeah. Hank Murphy versus Big Bunny, and then Brawler Beckett versus Ace Davis. Brawler Beckett has made it much further in this tournament than I anticipated. I just knew... I just knew we would have a problem. <sighs> Whatever. I invited him here. He brought his brass knuckles. I'm going to call him brass knuckles. That's ridiculous. 
expected some decorum from people who always talk about respecting pro wrestling. What have they done? Walked out with titles, uh, jumped people backstage, almost killed people. Like, come on. Come on. Actually, just to save some time, um, I don't normally do this, but I think I'm just going to skip the, yeah, we're going to skip the entrances because we've already seen them come out. We already know what's going to happen. We already know Big Bunny's going to take forever. If y'all want me to skip the entrances on the next match, just go ahead and let me know and I'll stop skipping them, but for now... For the sake of saving time. Ooh, Big Bunny going right after Hank Murphy. What the hell? Ooh, with the first gut wrench suplex of the night. Or of the match, rather. It's like the fourth or fifth one of the night. Hank Murphy stopped that kick. Ooh! Ooh! Got Big Bunny locked up. Big Bunny's trying to crawl into the ropes. Can he get out of the STF? Powered out of it. Big Bunny's slightly larger than uh, what Hank Murphy has fought since he's been in INCW. Big Bunny is also a ring vet compared to uh, Hank Murphy. Inverted DDT. Big Bunny with a clubbing blow to the back. Bunny came out here like a house of fire. Sending Hank into the ropes. Ooh! Barely missed him with that lariat. That could have took his head off. Bunny's going to start pecking the park at the... Picking apart at the leg. Ooh! A giant vertical suplex. What the fuck was that? Big Bunny caught the face. Oh, how? Realistically, it's got to be all in his legs. All I see is Hank Murphy jumps really high and then uses his body weight to do everything else. So as long as he can hang on with his legs and jump high with his legs, he's good to go. Going for another gut wrench suplex. Ooh, with the trifecta. He got one. There's the second. And here's the third. Is Hank gonna go where no one comes back from? Ooh, Big Bunny just launched him in the sky. And again, just toying with him. Big Bunny is out for vengeance, and I don't know why. Big Bunny dodged the kick. Where is he taking him? He took too long. Hank Murphy got a hold of his bearings again. Big Bunny with a fireman's carry. Going for a neck breaker again across the knee. This may go to a count out. 
All right, Big Bunny made it back in there. Big Bunny with a punt. He is destroying Hank. Too close to the ropes. One, two, no. No, not even a two. Hank Murphy might be a big mother trucker, but I don't think he's ever fought a life-size bunny before. Or a person-size bunny, rather. Looked like he might have been going for the uh, rabbit hole slam. Ooh! Going after the arm. Bunny with a shoulder tackle. Going with the twerking again. This could be the most disappointing thing. One, two, no. Thank God. What is that? Hank Murphy just did that. Titus O'Neil. Oh, 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 crap. Oh my god, not the five moves of doom. It is. Hang Murphy with a palm strike to Bunny. Bunny's had enough. Bunny. Might be going for the triple German or triple gut wrench again. There's the first one. And the second. One more. And the third. Pin him in the center, almost in the center ring. Two, no. Hank powered out. That is discerning to the bunny. Bunny's not ready. Bunny wants to end this. Oh no! Leaping head scissors. Bunny kicked out before one. That was a desperation pin by Hank Murphy. Bunny is going to... Here we go! Rabbit hole slam! In the center of the ring. Go for the pin. One, two, three. Hank Murphy has been eliminated. Thank God. That was... That began to get too close for comfort. Now we have Brawler Beckett versus Ace Davis. The final match, the finals to crown the king of the ring, is either going to be the face of INCW versus Brawler Beckett, or the face of INCW 
against Ace Davis, which is a rematch from earlier this year. Shoot, almost last year. Earlier this season. Man. And I didn't hear anybody say any, have any uh, complaints about me skipping matches or skipping entrances earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and do that again because I ain't got time for that. I do, but I don't. Do 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 Whew. It's actually been a pretty decent tournament. Um, it only went on for like an hour, so. Neither do we what? from Lafayette, Louisiana. Not really. It just says Lafayette, Louisiana. I can't disclose where we actually are. Privacy laws, all that and such. I'm not gonna lie. I would knock the shit out of somebody to come out with a tattoo that said your mother. Dastardly, that is offensive. That is a monkey flip out the gate. Oh, what the heck? Ref! Ref! Clear. My God. Again? First thing in the. Come on. You can end a career like that. What the fuck? One, two, three. Are you serious? God. Yes, if you're watching the replay and you just tuned in, you just seen the whole match. Once again, Brawler Beckett, that was, <sighs> that, that's one way to get into the final match with zero damage, zero stamina lost, zero energy exerting, just almost fresh. Brass knuckle your way through the top. All right, and just like that, we are on our final match. Brawler Beckett versus uh, Big Bunny. We're actually going to watch the entrances this time since it took almost zero time to do that match.
This is this is slowly becoming a travesty, is what it's doing. Big Bunny coming to the ring. Hopefully, like, Big Bunny is actively now our only chance to win our own King of the Ring tournament. J just so everybody knows. Bunny ominously walking down to the ring. I hope... I hope his war with Hank and his war with Info Warrior didn't take a whole lot out of him. So he stands a chance. Otherwise, we... I don't want to hear it, honestly. I don't want... I don't want to think about it. Here comes Brawler Beckett, the guy causing everybody so much distra uh, distress with his brass knuckles and his fucking tights. Why are we not checking his tights? Brawler Beckett with a disgusted look on his face. And here we go. Kick to the midsection. Headlock takedown. We're seeing actual wrestling maneuvers. That for a super kick. Missed terribly. Ooh! Big bun. Oh, no! Big Bunny and Brawler Beckett trading blows, matching each other almost one for one until that. Going blow for blow. Raking the eyes now. The foreign objects aren't enough. You got to rake the eyes too. That's a PWA ref. That's the only, that is the absolute only re ref. Yes, no! One, two, thank God. What the hell? This is a handicap match. This is the ref and Brawler Beckett versus Big Bunny. My God. What's, what's he got planned here? Nothing. 
Thank God. Oh, Big Bunny can't. He's scared of the top rope. Hoist him up. Oh, no. He took too long and a chop block. Come on, Riff. What does he ask to do? Use a gun? Oh, that was a... I can't even... I can't even... I'm getting... The ref is looking right at him. Right at him. Elbow to the chest. Going for the pin. One, two, three. My fucking God. Ladies and gentlemen, <sighs> Brawler Beckett is our king of the ring. Sometimes they'll do <sighs> Sometimes they do little cutscenes. I was seeing if there's gonna be a cutscene. I don't Everything about that was fixed. So just so everyone knows, that is the absolute last time you see that referee. Period. That referee is done. Uh, he's over with. How many times were brass knuckles used? In plain sight. Everyone saw it. The ref kept going. No. We're done here. Um, I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, fucking King Beckett, everyone. My God. Be sure to be sure to watch Sunday whenever more PWA nonsense goes down. <laughs>